Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes in X-Plane 11. For this flight I'm going from Osaka in Japan to Chubu in Japan. Chubu is close to Nagoya and I am doing so in a PBY Catalina. It's been a while since I made one of these videos and part of the reason for that is that Apollo in Realtime.org released the Apollo 13 audio with the Mission Control audio and so I've been listening to that. Uh, for those who are just joining into this series, during the flights I listened to the Apollo audio. We started with Apollo 12, I went on to Apollo 13, and so we've been listening to that, but it's only the PAO audio, uh, which includes the public affairs officer, the Capcom, and the crew. But the mission control audio is particularly interesting for Apollo 13, so since that got released, I've been listening to that, and so I didn't particularly want to spend time listening to this version, but now I'm over it. And we're in the middle of the 50th anniversary of Apollo 13. Unfortunately, I didn't get through the Apollo 13 audio before the 50th anniversary. But I suppose people who want to listen to the shorter version of the audio that we're listening to here can do so during the 51st anniversary, maybe. Anyway, uh, so that was interesting. Now, I have recently tried out the Catalina. This is a freeware version of the PBY Catalina, a very nice plane and uh, it has many textures but I recall it being a little bit interesting um, yeah that there, there there's some realism aspects to it so I'm gonna actually take off in the cockpit right here and keep an eye on the manifold pressure because if I recall it takes the manifold pressure really serious in terms of engine fires so yeah so I'll just sit there outside of the yellow region. Because I don't want an engine fire. It doesn't take much to get this off ground anyway. As you can see. Engines are set to max continuous power. It has these messages. I don't know where these came from. But I, I guess it's uh, special to the plane. But yeah, I set it to max continuous power. Landing gear up and secured. It gives these messages. That's interesting. So, we're gonna fly over Kyoto and then head down to Chubu. But here we are in Osaka first, of course. And we're gonna get some good sightseeing in with this plane. So, uh, I was supposed to start the audio before starting to fly, but I really wanted to pay attention to uh, the instruments. So, here we go with the Apollo 13 audio. Whoa! Better not stall or anything. Ooh, this is awkward. Okay. Okay, that should be better. Go ahead and power the ranging down. The down voice back up and uh, we'll give you a call on uh, Omni switch over. Okay. No, oh, no, it's still uh, going down a bit. Uh, Raj, uh, where is, uh, we're reading you about the same about uh, two by. Now, on Nepal in realtime.org, they also have cleaner versions of the audio. In general. Oh, I see, yeah. 
see if it's possible to see the reticle without the light on. Okay, we'll make a check. And uh, one other thing, uh, you might move that rendezvous radar antenna to park any time now. Uh, you can start any time you want. Well, definitely to enjoy the scenery, uh, this is the way to go. It keeps warning me about the engines being set to max continuous power. Set to, I, I don't know, I don't know what it's on about. Um, I should actually be able to get to that much manifold pressure. I don't know, it's got the little icon here, cat. Okay, there's easy settings, co-pilot settings. Um, we can turn co-pilot notifications off, I think. Hopefully. Uh, easy engines are off, EG hydraulic off, easy water ops on, that's fine. Got checklist views. I don't know. Well, that views. Oh, there we go. So it's got various views. Uh, it's actually tough to click on it properly, but all right. Here we go. So it's in the upper left corner where all my data is. There's a little Catalina icon that represents the menu icon it's funny that it's louder inside the cockpit than outside the cockpit though <laughs> but okay oh, I really don't need those icons at the top anymore Okay, we really don't want to exceed maximum speeds here or anything. Take a look inside the cockpit. Well, I mean, landing gear extended can go 139, it looks like. So I guess this is not too bad right now. I guess we will be flying over downtown Osaka again. I really ought to just stay lower. There is no particular benefit to going too high with the Catalina. Okay, 
That's correct, Fred. That was to be 31120. Okay, here's an Aquarius. I'd like to move over for the sun check. Uh, if you told me to do it now. Uh, uh, Jim, uh, Roger, we uh, just came up with uh, a maneuver time of, of approximately 15 minutes. So if you start any time between now about the next two minutes, it would get you into attitude by 7350. Uh, Houston, are you monitoring our P-52 technique? Jim, that's negative. We don't have any data on you. Low bit rate. We don't have high bit rate. Hello, uh, Houston. Do you read Aquarius? Uh, Raj, uh, reading you, uh, Fred. Go ahead. Houston's reading. Uh, Aquarius. Reading you loud and clear. Go ahead. Are you monitoring our P-52 technique? That's negative, Jim. Uh, we do not have high bit rate data on you now. Over. Okay, thank you. Check into it. Give us high bit rate now. We might be able to pick you up on uh, the 120 antenna. Okay, approaching downtown Osaka. Again, Catalina looks good. Functional. I mean, especially with the combination of landing gear and the ability to land in water. But it takes its time. It's about as fast as a Cessna sometimes. Nice day here in Osaka though. Fairly clear skies. Uh, 
Oh, uh, we're flying over Osaka Castle, I think. And it's a bit choppy because of the intensity of the scenery around here. Upriver should be Kyoto, I think. If we just keep heading in this direction in the valley between the two... Well, let's say just the valley. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say two mountain ranges, but definitely going up this river valley. We should head to Kyoto. Yeah, I showed about uh, maybe a third of a diameter to the uh, left. Okay, take a look. Check the needles. Uh, these are off and roll, Jim. Yep, well, frame rates are not good. I guess I could turn some of the stuff off. That just reveals some of the photo scenery underneath. I guess that's not too bad. I guess, yeah. I guess a few more frames like that. I mean, I could easily get better performance if I just turned down the settings, but I'd rather have a beautiful still image, I suppose, than, <laughs> than smooth video. It checks out. We're kind of glad to hear that. Okay, and getting a departing view of Osaka here. Right now in front of us, well down below us is Neyagawa and in front of us should be Hirakata. Uh, Hirakata on the, on the right side and on the left side is Takatsuki. Across the river from Neyagawa is Ibaraki. So over by our right wing, I suppose. Oh, sorry, left wing. The river is the Yodo River. Yeah, we're not there yet, really. 
This is FDAI attitudes for the maneuver. Yaw, 060 degrees. Pitch, 083 degrees. Roll, 272 degrees. Those are not verb 49 angles. Those are strictly FDAI attitudes, over. Okay, I uh, understand, Vance. Uh, it's much easier if the ball is up to fly the needles. Uh, that would give me, uh, if you get to me in terms of verb 49, uh, a 58 team maneuver, we could fly that manually. Stand by, we'll try to get you a verb 49 angles. Okay. You're passing by Yawata. That's directly below us, I think. And Kyoto is basically in front of us. Nestled among the mountains. Sort of to the right, okay. closer to the lake in front of us, if you can see on the horizon, is Otsu. Pitch, three, five, five, zero, zero. Roll, three, three, zero, zero, zero. Over. Well, let's brave full quality. Well, what does that do for us? Uh, maybe this is all right. seconds away.
Okay, and I'm going to calculate in the two seconds uh, in giving you the time hack coming up on 735900 when I give the mark. Okay, so this is Kyoto. Stand by, Mark. It's a nice location to be sure. Okay. I mean, looking down river there, you okay, can you got get a sense of things with Osaka down there. Yeah, I think I see some palace grounds in front of us. Kyoto was designed from the start in a grid fashion, I believe. So I don't know which one is which as far as palace grounds. I'm tempted to think this one with the square island is actually more prominent than that one over there. The build, the auto gym buildings on it are clearly wrong, maybe... Um, no, I can't get rid of them entirely, I don't think. Anyway. So uh, the smaller green patch is Nijo Castle and actually the larger uh, grounds is the Kyoto Imperial Palace so I was incorrect. Somehow uh, though Nijo Castle seems a little bit more stately but so over here as we approach the whoops Sorry, uh, as we approach the lake, this is Otsu, and the lake is Lake Biwa. There's only uh, the slim southern end of Lake Biwa, you can see it's quite large. Uh oh. Go back, go, go. Okay, Jim. Uh, <clears throat> we we read it to you as yaw pitch and roll, and uh, we should have given it to you registers one, two, and three, but we did not. Yeah, so that was mission three, controls three, mistake zero, zero. there. Register. They should have given it uh, in the order it's supposed to be entered into the computer after all. Also, uh, the flight plan where they jot the notes down for the maneuvers, though I don't think this would be one of the planned maneuvers, but 
those slots are in order of how they enter it into the computer as well. So. That's one of those clarity things. So we're over Kusatsu now. This seems to be Shiga Prefecture. Much sparser than uh, across the lake. Okay, uh, Apollo 13, Houston. Okay, uh, Jim, we sorted it out in the, it is correct the, the way we gave you the first time. <laughs> Gosh darn it. So, <clears throat> R1-27100, and in the, in the LEM, that's yaw, R2-35500. Uh, what might zero. have been uh, confusing is R3 three the relative three orientation zero. of things, that's I don't know. That's uh, verb 49. Well, one uh, positive thing about waiting a little while in doing this episode is that perhaps in the next episode I can offer an actual Japanese plane. I noticed that an interesting one was released on the forums, a freeware one, and if when I test it it seems to be workable, uh, we could possibly try that out on the flight into Tokyo, which is next after we land in Chubu this time. We seem to be slowing down substantially. Maybe that's because I'm going up. Let me just make sure we're not pushing the engine too much or anything. So yeah, and it's sort of got like spaces behind the cockpit here, as you can see. Clearly this particular model of the Carolina was at least not rushed. There are substantial details present. Gimbal lock stuff.
Delta 13, you're ahead for Gimbalock. You better stop everything. So Gimbalock is basically when the measurements units, one axis goes all the way to 90 degrees and then basically ends up duplicating another axis. So instead of having three degrees of freedom, it has only two degrees of rotation. So you basically lose an axis of measurement like that. Somebody compared it to when uh, in games, if you look straight up, uh, the camera spins around suddenly. Uh, it just sort of flips inverted because when you look straight up in a game, it basically loses that axis temporarily. Basically, one rotation axis becomes another rotation axis. That's gimbal lock. So they have to make sure that the spacecraft does not get in that situation, otherwise they might no not know their proper orientation. So we're basically between Lake Biwa and Issei Bay. At the north end of Issei Bay is Nagoya. We might be going a little bit too north. There's some, there's a bad patch of scenery right there, obviously. I was trying to avoid that, but maybe we'll just turn the camera instead of the plane.
Tending toward the gimbal lock area again. Heads up. Roger. Okay, so approaching the bay. I don't think I'm gonna actually fly over Issei. I think that's further to the right there. You can see that splotch of a city. Actually, that might just be Tsu, T-S-U. Issei might be even further yeah, along. But we're headed north now, towards Nagoya. Okay, 13, we're getting your high bit rate now and taking a look at your angles. We're about to our right is Kamiyama, 13, yes. which I think means Turtle Mountain. And we're turning towards Suzuka. Okay, Jim, uh, we just took a look at your angles and you're, you're looking good here. Your pings uh, is looking good. We can't I think uh, Suzuka is actually a little bit to the thing, right there but, uh, at our we'll right wing. You continue on in your maneuver. Uh, trying to right, reference okay. with the map. Yeah, I think so. I think that's that city there. Uh, 13 Houston, uh, we see you now in the auto maneuver. How are your air needles looking now? Okay, they look like they're working their way in, man. Okay, you think maybe they're working uh, right, huh? Yeah, because we got a 270 degree roll, I picture the on needles are reversed. Okay. Fred, you're starting to fade out to request uh, apt, Omni, Omni apt. Okay, you got apt, Omni. Thank you. 
13, Houston. Okay, Houston, the clearance, we appear to be there at the burnt attitude. And uh, now do you want us to change the tap? Uh, Roger, Jim. Uh, we have a procedure to give you for widening the dead band to five degrees for the uh, PTC in the next three or four hours, if you're ready to copy. Okay, stand by. Go ahead. I think okay. uh, the Bird island across, down, zero well, one, right at our right wing tip when I place it like that, I think that's the zero, airport, one, one, actually. Enter. Four, four, enter. But we'll go over to Nagoya in now, front of us first and then curve around. The band of five degrees with the dock dap. Uh, later on, prior to the burn, you would return the dead band to 1.4 degrees, and if you're ready to copy, I'll read you that. Stand by. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, uh, to return the dead band later to 1.4 degrees, verb 21, noun 0. This city enter. is Yokaichi. 3011, enter. Which two, zero, zero, translates to four day town. I wonder why. <laughs> why why four day town? I don't know. Okay, uh, man, one, uh, dead man, uh, we'll enter a verb twenty one. As far as I can tell four, literally enter. what it means. Three zero one one enter, four four enter. Before the burn uh, to go back to narrow dead band, it's verb twenty one down zero one enter, three zero one one enter, two zero zero enter. Raj, read back correct. And Ethan, I guess we'll do the CTC and uh, yaw. And uh, we want the ball power down. Stand by. Okay, Apollo 13. Uh, over. Go ahead. Okay, uh, that's a firm. Uh, you'll be doing the PTC in, in yaw, and uh, we'll give you a call at each uh, time you change yaw, yaw attitude. Aside from that, request low bit rate off, then down voice backup off, then power amp off, and uh, then FDA off. Okay, uh, man, so the power down, we'll go low bit rate, uh, down voice back up, we'll pull the uh, power amp uh, breaker, and we'll power down the uh, FDI and the AC. Uh, that's firm, and the AOT too. Okay, all set, we'll, uh, okay, uh, you said the clearance, how do you read uh, down voice back up? Reading you loud. Loud and clear now, Fred. Okay. Now, uh, Vance, you want to stay at this attitude for a certain length of time before we start maneuvering? Uh, Raj, uh, Jim, we'll keep you there for about an hour, and then we'll have our first 90 degree rotation. Okay. Houston, uh, forward Omni should be best. Okay, so this is obviously Nagoya and Environs. I think there's sort of a circuit road around Nagoya. Though it's not, uh, well it sort of does complete. Though one end of it's a little bit smaller than the rest. This river is the Kiso uh, River. That, uh, about an hour or less.
less from now when you make your 90 degree or at least uh, you do it in ping's auto as opposed to at hold reason is that if I don't you're know. at hold it the, it seems to be the convergence of two rivers uh, it's tough to parse it out actually yeah. Okay, I think I need to tone down the stuff going on here. Okay. And if you're ready to copy, uh, Charlie's going to be on in a minute with uh, some recommended uh, checklist changes for your upcoming burn. Over. Apparently close to that bridge to our right is a Legoland Japan Resort. This is Apollo Control Houston at 74 hours. On one of those minutes. islands. Or uh, maybe, yeah. It's sort of right in the middle of that bridge. Uh, you can see the bridge has two parts. In mission control, we've had a uh, change of shift. Uh, the island that point goes point over in between board. those two parts President apparently has State Legoland Japan place. Resort. Uh, Go figure. There's a scenery package problem. I better make note of that. 38 and 138. I mean, sorry, 36 and 138. Requires an additional scenery library. It shouldn't. It's just the Ortho 4 XP bit. Or it is missing some of its files. Alright, well, I'll have to figure that out. I don't know if it affects this area or not. Part of this flight has been checking out what scenery problems there are so I can get them fixed. This is really dense. I've already turned it down and it's got a lot of buildings still. a serious pause. I was worried the whole thing had crashed just there. Hmm. I mean, I don't think uh, the scenery is pushing the computer as much as I'm worried about what that scenery package error might do. If whatever has gone wrong with that might crash the game or something. Catalina flying over Nagoya is not as intense as Concord flying over Manhattan. 
that can crash the game. AC and CES DC. Under the caution lights, we may have a heater light. And that's all. Okay, perform. Uh, under the circuit breaker 16. Say again, over. Switching on me's over. Okay, you're a little better, huh? Me over. Okay, you're coming in loud and clear. I got to uh, call the warning check out. Uh, step one, two. Uh, the warning lights uh, we'll have will be at this press, the uh, ACPSDC. The only caution light we may have will be a heater light. Okay, good. Uh, the component light, we uh, won't have the H2O set. Okay, on uh, CB16, right under that, heater display closed, you can scratch that out. Uh, perform all of step two, and perform step four with the following changes. On panel 11, to AC bus B. Are you ready to copy? Over. Go ahead. Okay, under AC bus B, S band antenna open, ordeal open. Under AC bus A, tape recorder open. Row two, under RCS system A. Main, SOV, starting with the quad TCAs, all four closed. Under flight displays. Cross, Commander cross pointer open. COAS open. Ordeal open. For row three. Under heaters. Rendezvous radar, standby, open. Landing radar, open. Under stab, control. Attitude, direct, control, close. Under ED, logic power, A, open. And under lighting, utility, open. Are you with me, over? I'm going with you, Charlie. Go ahead. Okay, Fredo. Good show. On uh, row four, starting with ECS, suit fan one. Uh, okay. Glycol pump auto transfer close. Again, I, I think I'm just heading for that island and sort of in front of us there. Open. The HFA receiver open. Under pings. Signal strength display. I think the city Open. we're over is called Tokai. IMU operate close. And then I, in front of us is Cheetah. Under EPS. C H I T A. Cross tie bus open. And inverter. Just sort of swaying close. back and forth, aren't Over. I? That's uh, Charlie Duke at the capsule communicator's position, uh, passing up uh, contingent uh, changes to the contingency procedures uh, to Fred Hayes aboard uh, Aquarius. We're at 75 hours, two minutes now into the flight, continuing to monitor. This is Apollo Control. Okay, panel 11 configuration, top row, AC bus B. I want the F band antenna open, RDO open. AC bus A, tape recorder open. Second row. Under RCS system A, I want main stop through quad one TCA, all closed. Commander's X pointer 
Starting with panel 16 on the flight displays, row one. Okay, I think I should be in the cockpit at this point. Open. RCS system Bravo. Quad one TCAs close. Quad two close. Quad three close. Quad four close. Second row under lighting. Oh, gear extension speed 122. Well, let's get some margin on that. Briefly outside for the gear extension. Interesting, it uh, extends one wheel first and then the other. Got a bit of inertia to it. Sort of wobbles a bit sometimes. Or sort of feels like it's nothing continuing to sway in a particular nine. direction. After you straighten out, you can see sort of like that. Hopefully 80 knots is about right. I thought we lifted off about 70-ish. Probably, eh, no, we couldn't have made that taxiway.
Okay, let's take it from outside here. I didn't even use any flaps. The wings are so huge, I didn't feel like I needed to. We want you to change the DAP now 46 to 3. I suppose it could have landed at even lower speeds. But again, it seemed all right. Then after the noun 47 so many instructions do you have to give, but it's sort of critical to their lives to get this right. Okay, on page 14 of Herb 48, uh, DAP load, uh, now 46, change to All right, I'll just temporarily park it here. Oh, I'll pass that line. Gosh darn it. Okay. Let me pause there. And so... Apparently there's some birds around. Um, we are here in Chubu. Chubu International Airport. And next time we will be flying to... Tokyo. Boy, do the brakes not stop this plane. Um, <laughs> I've, I've got the engines down on throttle and I've got the brakes on and it's just sort of drifting forward. Uh, that's brakes off. That's brakes on. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flight. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.